I had so many good ciders down there, man. They had like this pure pineapple cider is delicious. I guess we can t- talk about this if it comes up, but Oh, like, you mean like right now? That's how that Hello and welcome to the Ritual Misery Podcast, episode 119 for Thursday, the 16th of March, 2017. This is a show where two lifelong friends and their guests celebrate all things geek. I'm Amos, that's Kent, and we have... We've got, we got Tom with us. Hello. Tom Merritt? Thanks Mr. for having me, guys. Oh, Mr. Tom Jury Facts. Oh my God. What's up, Jury Facts? <laughs> what is How going on? How you guys on? doing? Man, it's, uh, it's post-South by. It is. It's been a long uh, recuperative four or five days for me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> is that yeah. all? <laughs> I didn't even have a full day to recoup, and I was back at work. Yeah. And holy crap. And now we're doing another episode. Was it really a week ago that we did RMP Live? Yeah. We yeah. Were... yeah. I, I don't remember that because you guys said <laughs> an hour before I got there. Uh, yeah, let, uh, video will be posted soon. Let, lesson learned for <laughs> you. You should arrive, arrive sooner. Stop being last minute, but. Oh man! So this is gonna be a really fun episode. We're we're not going to do a regular episode. This is just gonna be a storytelling session, where the three of us share some of the adventures, some of the, the many shenanigans that occurred during the South by Week. Oh, uh, yeah. We're not gonna talk about back. everything, are we? Oh no, we're not oh. gonna talk about everything. <laughs> <laughs> but we're gonna talk about some 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 interesting things, some fun things. Possibly some embarrassing things. Um, yeah, it, if uh, anybody in the chat has some stories that they want to share, go ahead and and prompt us in the chat at any time, and we'll yeah. we'll we'll talk about those things. So um, um, the week kind of began with uh, with us doing a live show. Really, we did a little meet up at, at Darwin's Pub. Um, yep. Really awesome time, by the way. And we did a live show, and well, if you're if you're in the chat room right now and you have had to give it a one to three, three being really awesome and one being complete shit. If you're in the chat room right now, go ahead and just uh, just put out there the number, whatever number it is that uh, you you thought the sh- the live show was. <clears throat> there, uh, uh, so, so we got a zero so, so we got a three three three, three a zero a two point two four. <laughs> yeah, that's all, yeah. <laughs> There's some people so, that clearly Fitz don't points pay out that to... he was Fitz points out that he was totally going to be there, but he had some car pr- problems on the way there. A tire flew off of his truck. Uh which see, I would have just said, you know, fuck the truck and uh hitchhike there, but you know, some people got to, you know, they want to take care of their truck. I just want to know did he find his tire cuz he's <laughs> he's on his way to South by his tire just decides <laughs> Screw it. I don't like this truck anymore. Did you at least find your tire? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That's, you know, that really sucked because there was a few people that I was really hoping to see there. Uh, Fitz was definitely among them. Uh, Poodle Puncher were, was another. Uh, among a, a bunch of other people that, for whatever reason, circumstances happened and they couldn't make it. Uh, just know that you all were missed. Uh, hopefully, either at Nerdtacular or next year's South by, we'll be able to see all the people that we missed this year yeah um fitz by the way says that he did not find his tire (laughs) (laughs) um yeah man but yeah so we did a live show so a couple people that i want to give a shout out to first of all cj the proprietor of darwin's pub yes uh awesome awesome guy uh we worked with him for uh i don't know several weeks a month something like that to get the details all worked out uh that was awesome uh roberto viegas he ran our sound. Yep. Awesome, awesome dude. Thank you so much for doing that. And uh, we would be remiss if we did not mention Richard Gunther, our third wheel, I guess. <laughs> um, he actually, he, I mean, if longtime viewers of this show know Richard Gunther, he is one of our favorite people on the planet. He's awesome. And he came up on stage with us and he hosted the game show portion okay first of all he changed his flight to an earlier flight in order to make it to the show when when he found out that his flight was already booked for too late in the evening um 
willing to come out on pocket, but actually ended up being a, like a, a free thing because the airline was like, oh, thanks. Huh? Appreciate that. So he showed up. He got there uh, kind of just in time to do the show, actually. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He arrived just before. And he, he actually changed his shirt right there on the like right there on the on the bar floor just before getting up on stage like that's yeah. how close he cut it <laughs> and by the way he forgot his shirt so i couldn't even give him back his shirt um oh yeah damn. so it, it just got washed earlier today my brand new wash and dryer <laughs> oh man um, but that was a lot of fun. i mean you could definitely tell that that we're amateurs at this this was our first live show and, you, and it it showed i think but it was a it was a ton of fun yeah uh we were yeah, we got some laughs. We even got some some participation from non Diamond Club members, which was which was kind of cool. Yeah, we had a rando uh, off the street come in and answer a question better than we or Diamond Club could. So. <laughs> right. <laughs> so but there's we, that. We gave away t shirts and some stickers, and uh, I think I think everybody there had a pretty good time. Yeah, maybe. So that I was mean, a win. I, I hope so because the tab that was left over was pretty hefty. So <laughs> I know I didn't drink two hundred dollars worth of beer. Whatever. Um. So there's a, there, there was a live show. Uh, let's see here. Do we have another live show picture? Uh, nope. This is from the next day. And this is where we finally got to got to meet up with uh, with Jury Facts over here, Mr. Tom. And then we hounded him all day as he kept going in and out of uh, going in and out of the restaurant to smoke. Uh, this is uh, <laughs> go find- <laughs> this is the flying saucer. Uh, it's in North Austin, I think, right? Yeah, uh, Time Jumper actually set up the meeting uh, for this one. It's a really cool restaurant, the Flying Saucer. They they have like a million beers on tap. Uh, the food's pretty good too, uh, but but you really, really you go for the for the beers. It, it was such a cool time. Uh, I met Six Foot Gelfling for the first time. Yep. Uh, from KG fame, uh, super cool person. Um, that was a blast. So many, so many cool people that uh, Jaime showed up, Tensor guy. Uh, so, so many cool people were there. Jaime that was br- a Jaime really brought, his, time. brought his wife, and man, she had stories for days. Yeah. Oh, she's fantastic, isn't she? Like, uh, well, yeah, that's the first time I met her. She's she's really sweet. She's like, she's awesome. Yep, yep, yeah, really cool. But so, it, what it, I it really was, want was, to talk about was, here, what um, was really funny, what it re- was really funny was that. Every time she went to start a new story, Jaime just did. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> like, oh, that was so cool. Um, but yeah, so Tom, what I really want to talk about on this night was a project that you arranged and pulled off absolutely beautifully. Why don't you tell us what 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 that was? Um. So. It, it all really boils back to one of my other little side projects of uh, um, the uh, the Modern Rogue remix, where I go through, I take uh, Jason Murphy and, and Schwood's little videos, and I chop them up and make them either stupid, horribly sexual, or violent. One of those three is usually what happens. W- w- whatever well, it is, it's, it's anti-message of the show kind of thing. It's It's directly... <laughs> It's it trolling, trolling the modern rogue, basically. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it, side note, the modern rogue remix, remix.net. But, uh, <laughs> you know, I go through and I, I uh, you know, I mess with them and it's fun. You know, I, I it's, it's, it's all playful and everything, but I love to get under their skin a little bit, you know, throw some stuff back at them. And uh, what, what, what we did was a, a few weeks ago, they did an episode where it was essentially a visualization of a DDoS where they, you know, people attack a computer and it makes it impossible to, to get a response from a website. And they did that by having the chat room ask as many questions as they possibly could with Brian attempting to answer the questions as quickly as he could. Well, you can't do that whenever you have 100 people asking you 500 questions in 13 seconds. It's not happening. Right. So yeah, right. one of the big questions that kept getting uh, posted and then reposted by everybody was, have you been to the Taco Bell cantina that sells beer? Over and over and over. Literally, it was the entire screen of chat for 30 <laughs> seconds where people just kept copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste over and over again. Well, I decided to take that and harass them or horrify them in the real world by having real people physically ask these questions to them. 
and insert a video where we had tons of people uh, go through and ask that question over and over and over again. Um, I got people at the live show the next day that I was able, thankfully, to edit in and all of this stuff. So it was it was a blast. It, it was it could not. You guys were amazing. The, the entire <laughs> crowd that night was awesome. Have you been to the awesome. Taco Bell Cantina that sells beer? I'm trying to get to the point where I can. There we, there we go. All right, let's uh, let's, let's show this video. Let's show you tweet out here real quick. We're gonna do the the entire video, and uh, hopefully the volume will be loud enough. Talk about Cantina that sells beer. Have you been to the Taco Bell Cantina that sells beer? Have you been to the Taco Bell Cantina that sells beer? Have you been to the Taco Bell Cantina that sells beer? Have you been to the Taco Bell Cantina that sells beer? Have you been to the Taco Bell Cantina that sells beer? Have you been to the Taco Bell Cantina that sells beer? Have you been to the Taco Bell Cantina that sells beer? Have you been to the Taco Bell Cantina that sells beer? Have you been to the Taco Bell Cantina that sells beer? Have you been to the Taco Bell Cantina that sells beer? Have you been to the Taco Bell Cantina that sells beer? Have you been to the Taco Bell Cantina that sells beer? Have you been to the Taco Bell Cantina that sells beer? Have you been to the Taco Bell Cantina that sells beer? Have you been to the Taco Bell Cantina that sells beer? Have you been to the Taco Bell Cantina that sells but for real have you been to the taco bell cantina that sells beer i have not been to the taco bell cantina that sells beer that that, and, that that trip was on a day that I wasn't in wasn't following the group me. And I love that chat realm while we were playing this video, chat realm <clears throat> spammed the chat with yeah. have you been to the Taco Bell Cantina that sells beer? That's <laughs> amazing. Holy crap. Have you been to the Taco and, Bell Cantina that sells So you got me, you got Kent, and there's hot beverages, uh Travis, Travis Swagger. So, there's the, Swagger and there's um Oh Shane. shit! Hmm. Shane. Shane. Damn it! See, you know why we can't know, we can't remember his name because he's not Shane in chat room. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Yeah, that's right. Shane is someone else in chat. It's Petey. Petey. Uh, Snowshoe and uh, Dokor, right? Which DJ? Damn it. DJ Dammit, that's his name. DJ. Dammit. Yeah, I can't remember his. I never remember his name because no. everyone just refers to him as Dual Court. Yeah. Um, Stacy. It's, it's the it's six foot Gelfling. Gelf. Yeah. There's TJ. A, TJ Time Jumper. There's Waffle. Waffle. Up in the corner. Who's that up in the corner up there? Uh, that's Charles Rubach. Oh, okay. There we go. Shit. Had I known that, I would have met him too. See, this is the problem with South by. There's always more shit you should have done. <laughs> uh, and of course, our okay. own Curtis Larock. So, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this, Russell Berry. But one of my oh no, you can't. One of my buddies just texted me, who apparently is watching, and spammed me with, "Have you been to the Taco Bell Cantina? <laughs> have you been to the Taco Bell Cantina? That's a beer." <laughs> and of course, Dark Redeemer, Dark Redeemer, and Crunchy. And then, uh, yeah, it, it was it was it was a blast. It was a great idea, and uh, it, it executed perfectly. Yeah, it, yeah, it couldn't have been any better. Like the the way that you guys kept following me as I backed up and like surrounded me, it was awesome. <laughs> that was so much fun. That was that was great. Yeah, that was a good time. Um, so next up on our little uh, little list of stuff that we're we're gonna talk about here, because I mean, there's there's man, this is such a good time. Oh, who took pictures of me doing that? I did. You did? No, oh, I didn't even see you doing. Oh, awesome. I probably That's should cool. have had this open Sorry. while I was talking, all, saying all the names. <laughs> so yeah, and, and it was in this little this little area, it was a nice little quiet area. Kind of ridiculous how, how awesome that area. <laughs> we was. we were right next to a little children's park. <laughs> 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 There's like housing and <laughs> don't try to play it off like it was okay that we did it there. <laughs> Well, I mean, compared to the things that we wanted to do there, like the thing, <laughs> the stuff we were we were yelling about while we were over there. Oh, um, okay, yeah. Well, <laughs> hold on, you say we collectively. <laughs> Crunchy pointed out in the chat that that the all of this is continuing on on everyone's Instagrams right now too. So, oh, jeez, um, I'm just gonna have to take a look at that. <laughs> Here's an, here's a uh, another view of the flying saucer. Which, by the way, if you have a chance, if you ever get a chance, just go by there and, and eat that. Then you can see half of us are on our phones. Of course, that's what we do. 
Yeah. <laughs> the funny part is we're, we're, actually... we're tweeting each other from two feet away. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, All right. So man. next, the next day uh, was Saturday, which was the day of of Night Attack Live. But before we did that, a few of us went to an escape room, the eleventh hour escape room. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that was uh, me and you, Amos, uh, Sasiana. It was uh, Dark Redeemer. Um, uh, I think I have Duke a picture of that. Family. I didn't. Yeah, I don't. I, I totally should have put that in the uh, in the old show notes over there. But dude, not to brag too much, uh, but I'm gonna brag anyway. We fucking rocked that thing, dude. We solved the puzzles in. I believe it was 41 minutes and 28 seconds. Right. We, wow. And, and some of that was lost time due to interference. So. Yeah. Well, yeah. She did pause the clock when she had to come in, but it was after like wasting like 20 seconds or something. Yeah. It was kind of. Uh, yeah. Whatever. But, but either way, it we was win. so much fun. If, if you guys have never done an escape room, like you need to get on that shit. Escape rooms are a blast. You need to take a handful of friends with you and just go do it. It is so much damn fun. If you yep. if you like solving puzzles, like if you're if you're an RPG player, uh, you know where there's a you know a puzzle pops up every now and then, and you enjoy that aspect, you will absolutely love this. So there you go. There's the picture. Ah, uh, yes, that was our yeah, that was our photo that was so taken got, after. You got Dark Sasien, Del Noche, myself. Uh, Junior and his wife Alex and their son uh, Dylan. And yep. by the way, Dylan rocked it. He was our MVP, I think. <laughs> Easily, awesome. the kid, the kid, year old kid, and he's a yeah. freaking savant when it comes to puzzles. Like he was like, we're gonna have to find batteries for that 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 clock. Like, what are you talking about? Well, I mean, no, we to be fair, it. I mean, you, okay. To be fair, he was probably the only one that wasn't drunk at two in the afternoon. Uh, accurate. That, you know, <laughs> me, and, me and Dark that, that had, is... had just left a pub. I'm. Uh, it just. You know. It's. Uh, uh, I don't. Don't. I saw you guys tweeting. You were like pre-gaming at a bar down the street, <laughs> waiting for to go in. <laughs> Maybe. I. I had. Speaking of cider, I I'd had a little escape cider. Escape room isn't a wet paper bag. I won't be able to get out. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, so then we left that and went to uh, we went to the escape room, or no, we left the escape room, went to Night Attack Live. <laughs> Look, I might have been, I might have, I might have, might have been having a day. I don't know. Oh man, but yeah, so then we went to the Brew Exchange and Night Attack happened, and that was absolutely amazing. We're not gonna recount everything that went on there just because uh, that that's already out there. Um, however, watch, watch that show. That's perfect. It's it was amazing. It was one of the most high energy shows I have ever seen. It is it was so good. Um, yeah, so there there was the the classic after the show group photo. I thought that was pretty good. Yep, it was a hell of a crowd. Got him good time. Not even half, good time. Not I even half those shots. It just gets so many people in there. Yeah, yeah. There's so many people in the fringes that are like not even. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, that 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 was awesome. So one thing that did happen just after the show, though, was uh, I, I went up to Jay Brushwood, Brian's brother. And I was like, hey, man, how you been? I haven't seen you since last year, blah, blah, blah. And uh, so we were hanging out and we wanted to, you know, it got to the point where we wanted to start taking selfies and all that kind of stuff. Right. And uh, he's like, hey, man, uh, instead of taking selfies, why don't we just like take turns taking pictures of each other? I was like, all right, cool. So then. <laughs> When he took my phone to take a picture of, I think it was me, Stacy, and Sunbun. Did porn I pop think up? It, please, tell me, please tell me porn popped up. No, no, oh. no, 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 no. <laughs> he took my phone and took a selfie of himself. And I, can you pull that yes. picture up, Amos? I, I threw that in there. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so he. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see here. <laughs> Yeah, so here we yes. go. Yeah, so he took this picture and he's like, "You got to make this your new wallpaper." So guess what, internet? My phone's wallpaper right now on my lock screen <laughs> is Jay Brushwood. And that's that Brian Brushwood's awesome. older brother. 
younger brother? Uh, it's his brother. I don't remember actually. I don't know. <laughs> he's he's Jay Schwood on. Tickle. You can ask him that. <laughs> Oh, oh man, man. Uh, what other shenanigans did we get into on that night? Because the night continued. Wait, 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 wait. On... Before we before we talk about leaving that leaving that night, let's yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That the, night, the the brew exchange, once again, yes, class act as far as going down to Austin and enjoying some beers, and man, so many good beers. I I love that place. I really, we 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 had actually stopped by a few, uh, the night before. I think it was the night before. And had some beers, or maybe it was the first time we were there. Was it Wednesday? Yeah, it was. A, it was a couple nights prior. Yeah, I think it was Wednesday night when we first got there. Yeah, um, but either way, oh, and Cabo, Cabo showed up, and did his first oh, yes. Night Attack Live, his first Diamond Club event. Yes, Cabo Wabo seventy nine in chat realm, and this dude, oh my god, I love Cabo so much. Like he is, he is himself. Like like he, like he pre- presents himself on the show, except amplified. Mm-hmm. Like the dude is a ball of energy, and he's absolutely awesome. But what just cracked me up was that this is his, this is his very first ever Diamond Club event, and everyone was a celebrity to him. Like yeah. not just like like <laughs> Brian and Justin and them. Everybody from Chat Realm, that like he was like, oh my god, Crunchy, oh my god, Stacy, oh my god. Jury facts. Like he was freaking out when he met everyone, and it was hilarious. I there, love. There's it. a picture of him talking to Jury right now. It just, it, yeah, blew his mind. It, it was, it was <laughs> awesome. Yeah, I, I was not prepared for that reaction. <laughs> <laughs> like he, he freaked out. I'm just like, uh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, I'm going through oh, the photos a little too quickly. So, um, so after Night Attack Live, we went to the same place we went last year, Steampunk, which is right next yep. door. Um, again, man, what a what an awesome place! Lobster yeah. rolls, man. Those lobster rolls. I, I though I'm not into like, I'm not into lobster so much. So I went and got the brisket the brisket burger sandwich thing next door, and <laughs> I had that as well. <laughs> <laughs> I just love the concept of that place. You you've got like permanently fixed food trucks, basically. <laughs> And the, the back patio of this pub, and it is just it's like, yeah, of course you do. Well, did, did you guys see the new addition, the uh, the stage that they built? That thing is awesome. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah that stage was a... wasn't there last year. Like, that thing is pretty badass. Well, yep. last year, last year I spent most of my time there talking with Jury Facts on the side about a, a project we were looking at doing that uh, never came to fruition, of course, because that's, that's what we do. And um, standing... In an open sky with, like, there's there, har- hardly any of that was finished. And this year it was all yeah, completed. Yeah, yeah. It was totally. In- uh, yeah. Had had little uh, umbrella things and everything else. It was great. Oh. Yeah, they had a, they had a lot more. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Do we even want to, do we, I don't even know if we want to show this picture. <laughs> I, I think, I think you just leave it there for a good recount. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. We just, and then we just kept, insert kept back your own us. story. <laughs> yes, yes. Make up your own story, chat room. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I, that that one you got on the side there, man. I cannot wait until next year, so we don't have to leave him yes. behind. And, and yeah. I, I feel horrible that anybody. That's a demon five. I don't know his real name because I don't know real people's names. Uh, but like. He just turned 20 or is 20. And so next year he should be 21. And, uh, you know, thankfully he'll be able to finally like come along with us. I remember last year he got left behind, couldn't find his car, you know, and then this year he, they wouldn't let him in and we couldn't, not that we tried to sneak him in, but there were people down by the way that I wanted to sneak him in at that wouldn't have let it happen. (laughs) Yeah, it, but, well, yeah. we, we and, snuck him in yeah, last happened, year, right? And then he had to leave, and then he came back, and he couldn't get back in. Yeah, yeah. And when it happened again this year, I was like, "God damn it, again!" Yeah, like when is this kid gonna be twenty <laughs> one? <laughs> I mean, I think that's really cool because there's so many like you know people out there that are you know it's not just 
you know, us guys. It's, you know, there's, you know, a younger generation out there as well. Generation, Jesus, I sound like I'm 50. So, I know. Uh, uh, but you, you know what I mean? But that that's, you know, those are the, the next people that are going to be, you know, like the next DKG or, you know, the, you know, whatever. And that that's cool to see. Like, you know, these kids got talent doing this, you know, like editing and, and streaming and all this stuff. Those guys know what they're doing. Second gen yeah. Diamond Club. Holy crap. We are Gen X. <laughs> <laughs> You've got a bunch of pictures in here, stuff that. Uh... Yeah, so those uh, the the following day uh, we went to uh, uh, Bryce took us to a, um, a a video arcade that was really kick ass and it's really hard for me to describe it, but it's like a bunch of Japanese games that are like way beyond my skill set at video games. So <laughs> or, or I anyone's... played a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles uh, arcade game. That's what I played. <laughs> while he's doing like DJ Revolution, t- like on crack times five, and I had to go to the bathroom, and inside the bathroom there's like this stuff that's like uh, uh, printed out on those uh, self-made label strips, mm. this and says, they were uh, hilarious to me because they made me giggle while I was peeing. This one says, "When raining, a small lake forms beyond this door. Do watch your step." <laughs> Which very accurate, like. It had rained earlier in the day. There was a puddle outside that door. <laughs> I, like, I like that one. Aim better, geez, underneath the toilet. Lid. <laughs> That's the one that made me giggle, and it didn't help me aim better. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, geez. On the mirror, despite everything, it's still you. Yes. Well, it's with an asterisk, as if it, like, like I, I was really hoping there would have been just an asterisk, like, at head level yeah. next to you so you're looking at it with an asterisk in the mirror just off to the and side. then that at the bottom <laughs> oh, oh man. man and then uh if you find that supplies are low or entirely missing kindly inform an employee or don't and let the panic that is utterly consume you let the panic that is utterly consume you. yeah they missed a comma but yeah, yeah, yeah. It took me a, a couple times reading that to make sense of it, but let's see mm-hmm. here. Communal body spray. Do not steal. P- please, thanks. Bye. Ah, see, I didn't get that before. I thought it was just a jumble of uh, just <laughs> randomness. Wow. You got to keep up with the times, Kent. Like you got to talk to yeah. kids. Speak. Nah. That's what. Yeah, that's what the kids say. Well, the one on the side says TMF, 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 all the way down. Yeah, I didn't understand that one. Yeah, I saw Thanks, this one a few times. This is a, uh, a, a a tire cover on the back of a Jeep that says Jeep Austin <laughs> Weird. And I'm sure you got this one uh, because the... the... <laughs> that tickle. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, that just seemed random. Uh, yeah, I... that was. Uh... <laughs> I can't wait to see this. So whenever I like randomly do that, people are like, "The fuck." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. So. <laughs> so Ken, that was it, right? That's all that. That's all that happened. That's this. That's all. This oh yeah, stuff. No, nothing else significant. Uh, nothing. We can just end the show now. Yeah. Uh, um. Uh, Amos, you and I had an amazing honor of being able to go to the BB studio and be on Cord Killers. And um, dude, that was so much fun. This is a picture I didn't even know was being t- taken. Of course, my eyes are closed. Of course, you put the one in here with my eyes closed and your eyes open. I see how you are. Yeah, I, I put the other one in there, too. They're both in there. Fucking fat head. It, well, there was, there was two pictures in this bunch. One of them, your eyes are closed, and in the other one, my eyes are closed. And there you go. So There's the other one. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, that you was a blast. Can't, can't you look like you're like taking a nap over there, and <laughs> uh, yeah, that, that the other two of them are like, huh? Why is there a why is there a rabbit over there? <laughs> I mean, in, in this one, it looks like I am. Uh, it looks like I'm I'm praying for my cheeseburger to arrive. So <laughs> <laughs> please, please give me the cheeseburger, please. <laughs> There's my cheeseburger. Uh, need, need another cheeseburger. Um, I'm glad, oh, I, I'm glad yeah, it that was, that was a blast. I'm glad it worked. Uh, um, yeah, but yeah, that was that was really awesome. Yeah, we were actually we were on um, 
on After Things as well. Yeah. Uh, Brian Brian let us sit in and watch weird things, and then when they did After Things, uh, suddenly we had mics in front of our faces and we were well, talking. Well, the, so. the the way that it worked was we were we Bryce gave us a ride out there and gave us a ride back. Um, <laughs> yeah, near <a> spit take. <laughs> Bryce gives right out there and gives right back, but he had to be there early for weird things. So we cruised on by with it. We didn't even expect to be like in the, in studio. Uh, so we sat in studio for, for weird things and we went out and kind of had a little break in between the two, a little potty break, went back in there and there were Mark mics in front of us. And we were like, okay, we're going to be on after things now. Cool. Yep. That was cool. That was actually the first time I ever talked to Andrew Maine. Yeah. That was good. It wasn't bad. It was, uh, enjoyable. And then we went off and did Court Killers, and then uh, Spoiler in Time. Well, Kent bailed out for Spoiler in Time because he didn't want to be spoiled yep. on the show. He's, he's never going to watch. <laughs> and and, uh, uh, and I hear awesome. you almost died. You almost died during Spoiler in Time. Uh, yeah, well, so here's the thing. Like, we'd been you know, drinking <gasps> and, and eating for days, like one does when they're at South By. And I had a random burp, just a random burp in the middle of the show. <laughs> and it wasn't the cleanest of burps. <laughs> you didn't have a mute switch either. No, no, I did not have a mute switch. And I had just, well, cause I, I finished my, uh, my, my hard apple cider right as you were leaving the studio so we could start spoiling time. So I didn't yeah. have anything to drink either. <laughs> so, so I was just, I just, oh, just trying oh, not no. to die. That's what. <laughs> <laughs> it's awful, absolutely awful. Um, but oh, I made man. it through. So there's. That. <laughs> <sighs> uh, and then the following day. So, so, Tom, you left on like Monday, right? It was Monday or Sunday? Uh, Sunday evening. I I headed out. I my flight was. Don't get me started on that, but my flight was supposed to leave at six. It left at like nine thirty. Oh jeez. Mm. So, but yeah, I, I headed out Sunday night. Uh, made it to the airport and everything. Uh, sun me, sun bun, and uh, uh, hot beverages all at the same general flight time. So we were all flying in we all the same there. general me direction. Sun bun walked around and played Pokemon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. Yes, the Pokemon. Oh, I, I caught so many new Pokemon in Austin. No! I got like probably 25 new Pokemon. Dude, I, I actually... leveled up a full level. I, I'm up to level 26. I leveled up whenever I was down there because of how many evolutions and new Pokemon I caught. Yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> Look at all those Pokestops. <laughs> Thomas Jefferson is playing Pokemon right now, he says. <laughs> it's, it's, it was insane, the number of Pokestops out there. Like every corner, we were, we were going. We were on a bus. Yeah. <laughs> we were the three of us were on a bus going downtown, and we all got our phones out. Yeah, we, we we're going like twenty miles an hour on this bus, and we're trying to hit literally like nine pokey stops within what one block. Yeah, so we just keep flicking. <laughs> I got one. I got one. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, if, at first, we were on the bus because we, is when we were leaving the flying saucer and heading downtown. Yeah, yeah, and uh, we we were. We were, you know, you'd, we all had like different strategies, but by the end we were, we had figured out like exactly how far you needed to go, when you could tap it, how to spin it, get out of there as quick as possible and moving on. Like we were just cramming, cramming, cramming so much so that three of us had Tom's spare batteries hooked to our phone because we were just burning through, the, through all the power. Oh, yeah. oh yes, definitely. My phone would have been dead like within five minutes. If, oh, where they um, at? Yeah. All of those you guys had out. <laughs> that was, yeah. it was it was it was absolutely crazy um and we were just hitting all the stops we were and then of course a pokemon would pop up that you didn't have so you'd have to tackle that and hurry up and fight it and get off the screen and animations be damned get out of the way get out of the way okay there it is now start going again um it was so it in was, contrast this is my normal for anybody that can see this so the see how many pokey stops there's that that are there there's one way, way off in the distance. In Austin, it on any shot you would be able to see probably twenty Pokestops. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't even know what street this is. Oh, this is over on on Second Street by the uh, JW Marriott because I was talking to Amber and Ashley right right after this, so I, I took this picture to uh -huh. send to them. Yep, yep. 
It's just <laughs> insane, the, the actual number of stops, and they just keep on going forever. <clears throat> um, so, yeah, that, that was... Uh, that, that was, was a, a thing. That was a lot of it. Um, Pokemon was huge. I don't even play po- Pokemon, but I was all over it that entire trip. So Tuesday was the day before we all flew out. Uh, uh, me and you, Amos, and Sassian all flew out. Um, actually, Richard as well uh, flew out on uh, Wednesday. So Tuesday was going to be like our chill day. We were just mm-hmm. going to kind of hang out. Uh, workshop some RMP stuff, uh, work on the Patreon, stuff like that. Uh, that's that's pretty much what we did, right? We just kind of hung out and... Um, uh, just, yeah, just I mean, I, uh, I went and got tacos. Does that count? Yeah. Yeah, so then so we're just hanging out, and that's just kind of, that's, that's you know, for the rest yeah. of the day, that's what we did, right? Yeah, that's it. That's that's, that's all Ooh, it was. Were those stickers? Um, I, I, I think so. Right, or wait, right no, here. sorry. Oh, that was on the side. My bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> we'll get to that. We'll get to that. No, my bad. <laughs> so, I, so I was trying to set Amos up, and he didn't take the bait. Uh, so <laughs> we were sitting around workshopping RMP stuff when Amos notices a tweet that said, "Oh, actually, so so you're kind of getting the story wrong, which is probably why I didn't pick it up." <laughs> I, you okay. were you were still asleep because it, it was like during your beauty sleep time, as in like noon to one o'clock or so. I was eating tacos at a Torchy's Tacos oh, right okay. down from the Airbnb right, right, right. when I noticed that Molly Wood was saying how her flight to South by Southwest was completely crowded with musicians going there for the music part of it. Right, right, right. Okay. And I replied with, "Hey, you want to do a meetup?" And right, so then fast forward to we're sitting around workshopping our yes. piece of. When Molly Wood replies, sure, I'm free from 6 to 7 where you want to meet up. <laughs> <laughs> like the actual Molly Wood. Yeah, Molly Wood of Buzz Out Loud and uh, uh, Marketplace fame. Yep, make me so smart. So we end up canceling our, well, delaying our evening plans, going down back downtown and having beers with Molly Wood for about an hour. Yep. Unbelievable. Absolutely amazing. My only regret about the thing is that I didn't get a picture with Molly because I was the one taking the photos. Yeah. So I actually didn't I didn't even do a selfie or anything. So there's no proof that I was actually there. <laughs> because you weren't. It was just me. Right. Uh yeah, you're you're holding a selfie stick. I was like, going to say that is that is some mad selfie skills. <laughs> um to it's... like be like this. And then I, you know what? The, the thing is, you just got to let the bald spot do what it does. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I, I tell you what, like, um, I think a lot of people in Diamond Club at least know who Molly is and is familiar with her work. And anybody that is knows that, that she's fantastic. She's awesome. But I tell you what, in person, she's all of those things, but more so. Mm-hmm. Like, she mm-hmm. is way nicer and way cooler and way funnier even than she appears on the shows. Yep. She she is fantastic. That was definitely one of the highlights of this trip. Um one thing about South by that we didn't mention though, that uh that, that has been alluded to thus far is swag. Yes. Now what is all this right here, Kent? Oh, are you just playing that? Yeah. Uh, so I get home all right. This was actually post South by because I get home and I had a package waiting on me. Um, I was like, oh, what, what is this? I don't remember ordering anything. And then I remembered that the Have a Drink podcast, which airs on DiamondClub.tv on Sundays. I don't remember the exact time, but it's Sunday evenings. Uh, I had won a drawing that they did, and this was the swag pack that they sent me. It's a brewery swag pack. It's got uh, stickers, a hat, a bottle opener, a koozie, uh, uh, coasters, pins, like all kinds of just cool, neat little brewery swag uh, from uh, a lot of local breweries around uh, around the Cincinnati area. And it's super awesome. 
And if you guys like beer at all and you haven't checked out the Have a Drink podcast, like you got to do that. Uh, like I said, they're Sunday nights on DiamondClub.tv. They're awesome people. They have a great show. Check them out. Yeah, I threw this in there at the end so that I could give them a, a neat little plug. These guys are from Cincinnati? Yes. I did not realize that. That's relatively close to me. I may have to reach out to them. Yep, check them out. Um, they're not far from where... Uh, I don't know if I want to get too behind the scenes. Let's talk. Uh, let's talk after this. After the show, I'll tell you. I'll tell you what they're near. <laughs> okay. That was a clean transition. Um, so, so Kent, what was your favorite part of South by this year? My favorite part was probably uh, a first for me. I had an experience that had never happened to me. Um, I got tossed out of a club into an alley. God. Damn it, how did I know this was going to end up in the show somehow? You I do shit. this. I, I saw this come. As soon as you said your 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 most your, your experience, I was just like, here it comes. <laughs> here oh, it comes. So, oh, so my God. Dude, we're, was we're, this, at I don't Shakespeare. Know if this was... we're at Shakespeare on 6th Street, and this is on Friday, Thursday night? Thursday night after the RMP live show. Yes. It's you, yes. me, Steph, uh, and Junior. We're going yes. down and we're bar hopping a little bit and getting a little bit of beer here and there. And uh, Richard and and his friend Kathy had already like bailed for the night. Um, yes. And we went downtown. We're at Shakespeare because Shakespeare's got this great layout. You can go upstairs and like look down on the road. There's a little back area where they got like a tree growing up in the middle of the bar. It's a great little bar. Um, I'm upstairs with Junior crowd watching the, the street. And Steph comes running up the stairs. Oh my God. Oh my God. Guys come quick. <laughs> and as me and junior Wait, are, are, are or... kin to do, we put, we throw our beers down and start heading up out and we just follow her out the back door where you are, um, adjusting yourself and brushing yourself off. <laughs> now, now Kent, that's a good enough story. I mean, like that, that's a story you can tell somebody. Real quick, real clean. But we want to know the backstory. What the hell happened, man? Tell tell the people what happened. Right. So I, I was actually wondering the same thing. Uh, now, mind you, I was not shit hammered like you would expect. Um, not that you would necessarily expect me to be shit hammered, but for a story like this to occur, you would expect that I was shit hammered and being a complete ass. Uh, and that wasn't the case. I had a nice buzz going, but I was minding my own business. And... As I was walking through the club, I had three security guards that each of them were like three times my size come up to me and start like pushing me like they, they like became a wall and were just like pushing me like, all right, time to go. And were pushing me toward the back door. And I'm like, whoa, what the fuck? What's happening? What what's happening right now? And uh, they're like, you got to go, sir. You got to go. You're out. You're out. I'm like, what? Why? What did I do? What did I do? I think you got me mixed up with somebody. Like, nope. Um, and they've got their earpieces in. And they're like, like, uh, this is the guy, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah, you're too intoxicated, sir. You're out. I'm like, what the fuck? So the door, the back door opens. Like, one of the, the security guys kicks the door open. And they literally tossed me into the alley. Now, by this time, like, you guys were running out the back door. Like, what the fuck is going on? And I'm pissed. Like, I'm not pissed that I got thrown out of a club. I was pissed because I had no idea why. I was like, what the fuck? So I was like, fuck this shit. So I walked all the way around the club back to the front door. And the bouncers, of course, were at the front door. And as soon as they see me, they're like, they both, they all like stand up and like, like, no, no, you got kicked out. You're not coming back in. I was like, fuck your place. I don't want to go back in. Your place is stupid, but I would like the courtesy of knowing why you threw me out because I wasn't, I wasn't causing any problems. And, uh, apparently I, cause I guess I'd gone outside to probably to get a smoke or something. I don't know. I guess I was outside and I walked back into the club and I didn't show an ID, but for, for two reasons, one, if you were already in a club, like every bouncer is just like, yeah, man, I got you. You're good. You, you already, you're already good. Number two, no one asked me for my ID. 
I just walked by. And apparently the like the eye in the sky, the camera guy, whatever, all he saw was that somebody like just dodged the the bouncers. And so they thought I was sneaking into the club. <laughs> But they didn't even they didn't warn me, they didn't say anything. They just became a wall and threw me out of the club. Now, I will say in their defense that this was at like 153 in the morning. Oh yeah. Like they were closing anyway. There was no time for additional like service or last call had already been called and everything else. So it's not like it's not like we missed I don't, out I don't on think a long that- I don't think it was that late because we were we were about to have another round of beers. It, it was that, it was that late because I was I was getting ready to chug my beer in order just to leave because it was closing. Like I'd already uh, checked. Like okay. I I specifically looked at my watch before Steph <laughs> had come up. So yeah, it was it was that late. Um, but yeah, then we left there and we we just went back to the back to the Airbnb and man, I don't know I don't know how you've gone this long without getting kicked out of a club. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm not saying I've never been kicked out of a club. I've never been literally thrown into the alley out the back door of a club. <laughs> Tom, have you ever been literally thrown into the alley out the back door of a bar or a club? <laughs> Did we no. lose Tom? <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, well since since that didn't happen, what was your f- favorite part of South by? <laughs> His story. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, quite honestly, uh, it, it sounds like kind of cliche and everything, but uh, Austin is one of those times where it's like, it's very chill, you know, like, uh, you know, you get a lot of opportunity and a lot of, <laughs> you get a lot of time to go through and uh, like talk to people and kind of hang out one-on-one with everybody and, you know, catch up and everything. And, and honestly, like, Austin, South by Southwest, that is, like, my favorite time. Um, Because you never know who you're going to run into, where, when, or, you know, anything like that, you know? Like, you know, uh, 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 shoot, I forget what night it was, but, you know, like, there was a me. It was me, Stacy, and um, uh, Willie Dills were getting something to eat, and, like... A, a rando jury appeared and it's just like, Oh shit. Okay. The, the, hi, what's going on? You know, you know, and we got to have like actual conversation, not like, you know, uh, you know, being on the front or, you know, putting on mm-hmm. the show or anything. And, and same thing for being at steampunk, you know, having, you know, actually sitting down and, and talking with you guys and, you know, talking, you know, having real conversations and, you know, to, to me, that's the, that's fun for me. Like, yeah. you know, actually meeting up with people. Um, yeah, yeah. in all I, honesty, I, that, that's I, my I favorite. I try to sneak into bars and get thrown out of them. <laughs> <laughs> no, but in, in all honesty, that what you said, like my real answer would be exactly what you said. That that is by far my my favorite thing about going to these meetups is just the the connection and the the real conversations. Yeah. Um. So for me, that really ranks really really high. Uh, meeting people. Well, <laughs> that's funny. Somebody just put in there, uh, meet, the best part of South by Southwest is meeting people I've never met before, such as meeting him in person and getting my own bottle of Ruinum out of it. Because um, he had some lying around, which, by the way, Ruinum is delicious, but holy shit, is it strong. Um, but for me, being the technical guy that I am, my favorite part was sitting down with Bryce in BB Live Studios jotting down notes and understanding their setup to help my setup. Um, yeah, that was just, just on a personal level. That was, that's like what I was looking forward to the most and what happened the most. And it was, it was really exciting for that, for that moment right there. Um, other than that though, like just hanging out with everybody and talking and and shooting the shit. It was, it was awesome. And the, the random, the random run-ins, like we go to a bar and we just randomly run into Willie Dills. You know? Yeah. Uh, oh, I saw I saw Bill Pullman on the street. Yeah. Uh, Steph actually pointed him out to me. We, we were just walking down South Congress, going in and out of shops and getting something to eat and whatnot. And she's like, "That, that was that was Bill Pullman." I'm like, "Bullshit! What are you talking about?" I had to like double around to like kind of circle around to check. I was like, "Oh my god, it really was." Mm. <laughs> and. Uh, <laughs> 
Yeah. There, there were a couple of celebrity sightings that I'm, well, I don't say celebrity. Well, one of them was a celebrity that, I mean, I can't confirm, but it might have been a dick cover batch. <laughs> <Matt Nichols. laughs> oh, so oh, not awkward. Okay. So not awkward. Um, <laughs> A lot of people are saying that uh, that ruinum is dangerous and you should never drink it. Um, I I can I can agree to that. I I think you could probably um, you could probably power a lawnmower with ruinum. <laughs> I, I, bet, I bet that's a thing. <laughs> Damn, like it's just pretty powerful. Oh, oh man. Um, what what else you got for South by Tom? What what are, what other lessons learned and uh, what, what what are you gonna do different next year? <laughs> Um, what am I going to do different next year? Um, I'm going to say that I'm going to book my flight sooner. I will Probably. say that I'm going to, uh, try to find lodging sooner. Um, but I probably won't end up doing anything different. I'll probably get a hold of people in February and say, Hey, <laughs> you got a floor for thing. me? <laughs> And then I will complain the entire weekend at South by, South, South by about how expensive my flight was because I booked it two weeks uh, prior. Yeah. yeah. So. <laughs> how about no, you, kid? Um, the, the real thing, something that I learned this year oh. was, uh, I don't, I, I doubt he's watching because he works in the morning, but uh, me and Shane, Shane Arose, uh had a legitimate conversation about how not to get so plastered drunk that a somebody else has my phone that's live periscoping and i don't know where it's at and b how to not break phones and then lose watching the stream of your other phone to find your phone where you're at or where that phone's at oh my god so that that uh that moral is drink in moderation kids <laughs> Uh, <laughs> if, and don't drink if, ruin them if, 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 yes. if, if you're so drunk that you're watching the periscope from your phone to find out where you are <laughs> no 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 like, I, some, like uh, last year somebody had my phone uh, 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 Travis had my phone I don't know why I gave it to him but he had my phone and it was periscoping well me and Shane got uh, disbanded from the group of or the herd of Diamond Club and we got on his phone to my Periscope to find out where my Periscope was coming from so we could find my phone and find the group. Well, he broke his phone because we were shit-faced. So. Uh, <laughs> that is, that's just a series of unfortunate events. It's, uh, yeah, but you know what? It's a hell of a story. <laughs> yeah, it's, Speaking of stories, well, um, if you haven't seen Night Attack yet, the, the Night Attack Live episode, You've got to check out the Don't Get brody Holy yes. shit, that was hilarious. Oh, my God. So Thursday, yeah, Thursday night, we told Justin and Brian that we were bringing a ringer that was going to easily walk away with Don't Get brody mm -hmm. And holy shit, were we right. <laughs> like Our guy, our guy did not let us down. It was... So he had told us a story during the after show when he was on before Chris Cabano. We're talking about uh, Cabo Wabo 79 in chat. He told us a story yep. similar to the one he told on stage, but not that one. So we'd never heard that one before. And man, that was, it was hilarious talking about getting your junk st well, stock in. Uh... And what, what's crazy about, about Cabo is that he's got so many of these stories and he's so modest about it at first. And then he starts talking. Uh, but we told him, like, like, dude, you got to go up there. You got to go up there. It's your turn. And he's like, no, 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 no. I don't I, – no, don't put me in the spot. I don't want to do that. I don't even know what I would tell. And we just, like, kind of shoved him up there. And that's when Justin was like, hey, we, we got our next contestant. And then he's like, I don't know what – okay, so there I was. <laughs> it was amazing. Oh man, yeah. Um, I mean, come on, don't don't ever bypass a, a safety valve on anything ever. <laughs> especially not when your it's penis in the name is in... safety. Especially, yeah, right. especially when your penis is involved. Just, yes, <laughs> just putting that out there. That's just oh god. If you haven't seen Night Attack Live, 
Go watch it. Go watch it. Go watch it. And you'll know exactly what we're talking about. Oh, man. Kent, what would you do differently next year? Um, I, You know, so many things went right. Um, I, I don't know that I would necessarily change, like, my methodology for anything. Just do more of everything. Uh, just try to have more conversations. Try to maybe arrange more cool things or, I don't know, get out and see more things. Because... Like, a lot of the, the places we went this year, like a lot of the bars and, and restaurants and whatnot, are things that we had done previous. Now, we did do – we don't get me wrong. We did see a lot of new things. Um, but I think it's just a you know, continuation of that. Just do more, 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 more. And, well, uh, I, you know, I think the easiest way to, to do that, honestly, is to uh, get up before it's dark out in the evening. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a good tip. Pro tips. <laughs> look, look we, don't, we don't have time for all that, all right? That's just – <laughs> that is silliness absolute silliness um oh. hey, hey kent yeah you, you can see the window over here i'm stalling here for a second talk about something yeah okay um <laughs> so you know what let, let let's talk about our guest for next week uh you guys know who ton Degasa is right yeah he's, he he's, uh he does a lot of art and everything yeah Yep, he super talented dude, super talented dude. Uh, you know, I've been I've been looking at his stuff uh, online, and he like, oh my god, he's got some amazing stuff out there. And it was just I don't know a m- couple months ago, I think I was listening to uh, Jackie Jackie's show, What's Cooking, where she had Tonda on the show, and I was listening to this dude talk, and I was like. Holy shit! I want to get a, I want to get him on RMP, and I reached out to him a few weeks ago and said like, "Hey man, you want to be on RMP?" And he responded like, "Wait, it, really? Like, why would you want to have me on? <laughs> like, cause you're awesome. Do you want to come on?" He's like, "Sure, yeah, I'll come on." Uh, so he is going to be our guest next week. Super looking forward to talking to Tom Degasa. How about you, Amos? You looking forward to that? Um, I am. I honestly, I knew he was one of the uh, one of the chat room artists, but I didn't know exactly what he had done and what he does until you know we started talking about booking him and stuff. And holy shit, dude! Really, really rad, rad stuff. So that'll be next week. Is that next? Is that really next week? It is really, dude. Time is flying. Twenty seventeen is like it's almost over. Are the Christmas st- is the Christmas stuff out yet? Um, I think they just t- took it down. Uh, <laughs> uh, hey, real quick, if I'm not mistaken, I think this is the one that he did for uh, Dragon Con. Uh, yes, whenever Justin and uh, uh, Ashley got married. Yep, 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 yep. That's so, awesome. that is awesome. That's yeah, super talented guy. Um, hey, uh, real quick, also the week after that, hopefully, if we can ring it right, um, is either going to be Jaime Ruiz or Mike TV. Ah, yeah, we've got both those in the cooker. We, dude, we got we got so many. We've, we've we got, got so many lined up. It's, w- it's Willie, sick. Willie Willie Dills Gregory. He's uh, he's queued up. Um, we got man. See the thing about like, South by is you, you, you look, talk to these spoil. people like you've only got you only got a few minutes. You know you gotta you just you just gotta you gotta hit and go, man. Hit and go. Yeah, like like drive by <clears throat> invitations. Uh, no, we got man. God, we got so many great guests lined up. It's yep. it is just ridiculous. Just follow us on Twitter at Ritual Misery, and you will be informed of our upcoming guests. And of course, you can watch us. And at the end of our episodes, we'll tell you who's coming next week. Um, but yeah, check hey, us um, out there. Hey, Amos, hey, you you just yeah. said something about Twitter, Tom. Where can we find you on Twitter at uh, at Tom? Uh, yeah. If you just look up, uh, if you just Google Tom, yeah. Um, I'm there. I'm that. Um, oh, were you the just... MySpace guy? That, that, I'm your friend. I'm I'm instantly everybody's friend from the day that you were born. Okay, um, so, or so... if you want like actual real personable uh, interaction and everything, um, or not uh, personable because hold, I'm a jackass. Hold on, sometimes. hold on, hold on. You said you um, said just look up Tom and we'll and talking Tom is that you? Tom talking Tom and friends. Oh my God! You actually Googled Tom, you asshole. So. Uh, <laughs> So Talking this, Tom so and what friends you're saying is him. this is you. This yes. Is, 
Um, I made this a couple years ago. Guys, it's it's kind of on the down low. first annual indoor it, fun day was a big success. It sure was. Oh my God. I remember landlords... making this. It's all coming back to me now. That's, oh my God, my heart. So are you, are you, I'm guessing you're the cat, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there we go. Uh, but where can, where can people find you on Twitter? Uh, at Jerry Facts is the easiest way. Um, uh, if you or anybody you know has anything to do with stickers for their show, for their uh, band, anything like that, get a hold of me. I love putting up stickers. I'm going to put up a compilation of my hashtag Make America sticker again, compilation of all the photos and everywhere I've placed that. Uh, we got a, a whole, whole bunch of stuff I'm going to this year, and I would love to uh, like put stickers everywhere, everywhere that I go. So hit me up with stickers, and I'll, I'll pay for shipping. I don't care. So... He, but yeah, at Jerry Facts on Twitter. And he even got some uh, some Ritual Misery stickers this year to to take I, home. I did. I got a. Uh, I got some of the. You gave me the Ritual Misery, and I got some of the uh, Diamond Club uh, TV stickers as well, which are still packed in my uh, tote for stickers did, in my did, bag that I haven't unpacked because I'm a productive adult. <laughs> <laughs> and and some uh, some hashtags still in beta stickers even, I think. Yes. 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 So. Um, hey, Kent, where can people find you at, man? RM underscore Del Noche on Twitter. And also, if you're a beer person, follow me on Untapped. I'm Del Noche there. There we go. I'm even on, on uh, Untapped. I got some badges this week. It's kind of like getting Pokemon, beer, beer Pokemons, Poke beer. Oh, God. We got so many badges in the first couple of days, <laughs> and then we just forgot to check then, in. Then we, then we got that. to rut and started drinking the same beer, uh, a lot of the same beer over and over again. <laughs> <laughs> hey, um, I'm at Ethan Kane, E T H shit, A N C A I N E, E T H A N C A I N E. Uh, you can find me there. You can find the show at Ritual Misery. You can cruise on over to RitualMisery.com, and all the stuff is there. And of course, we are uh, we record live on Thursday nights at 7 p.m. Pacific time on DiamondClub.tv. And i uh, got to give a real quick shout out to everybody that we met and uh, everybody. If we didn't mention a story about you, it's because there were just so many stories we couldn't fit them all. And uh, so many thanks to everybody out there. Hopefully we'll see you again next year. Special thanks to, uh, to Incomptech.com, Kevin McLeod, for our music. And we will catch you in another time. Hopes you have enjoyed this broker. <laughs> and check this out. Go. Sergeant Muffin. Sergeant Muffin. Sergeant Muffin. Sergeant Muffin. I don't want Sergeant Muffin thinking uh, thinking we forgot about him. Yeah. No, Sergeant Muffin is one of the greatest people on the face of the earth.